All right. Again, it's me in person. My face is right here. It's crazy. I know. What are we here today? I made an expensive purchase. An expensive purchase. It's right here. What's this? I'm joking. This is not the expensive purchase. I did buy this though. Um, it came with a necklace version and a keychain version, which is nice. And it is Legend of Zelda related because you know Tears of the Kingdom is coming out. And like I said, it's an expensive purchase. I can see Momo out of my peripheral vision. Hi. R really? <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. You want to do the video? Is that what you want? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Little girl. Little girl. Oh. 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 dead. Is that you, Mama? Mm. What a good girl. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like she hates me, but then I know she loves me because she comes to me at night to sleep. Anyway, no, the big purchase I made was three hundred. What was it? Three hundred and eighty dollars with tax or something like that. No, I bought, as you can see, yeah, the special edition Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch OLED, and I figured we'd open it here because why? Why not? Um, I don't want to destroy the box. That's what I am intending here. So this is the first ever special edition console I have ever bought. And there's only one other special edition console I have gotten close to caving on buying. And that is the Spider-Man PlayStation 4 Pro console. I was this close to caving and buying it. And when I say that close, I mean that close. And what stopped me was Amber. Uh, not her, phys not, not like she didn't but thinking about it did so uh yeah i was not expecting the box to be this long kind of tiny compact i guess um there's a console a little <laughs> maybe maybe i know mama you're looking at me like i'm crazy so yeah uh, nice. Uh, how well you can see it there. Little grooves on the back and whatnot. Obviously, it has a much better stand. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That 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 is so much better than the normal switch. The normal switch just has like this tiny little thing right here. How they expected that to hold the switch up, I don't fucking know. But it doesn't, by the way. Not very well, anyway. I mean, it looks good. Looks nice. You know, I mean, it's a switch screen, switch OLED screen. Let's put that over there. And then, of course, uh, the Joy Cons. Nice, gold, and swirly, just like everything else. Oh, these are so good. These are so good. The moment these bad boys get drift, I'm gonna cry. Um, so now you can see them kind of up close and personal. You know, nice, nice. I like how they both have that down at the bottom. Um, I don't know which one I like better. I think I like this one more. Just a little bit more. I don't know. I think it's like, it's like the, the white accents and whatnot. Compared to like this one with the giant greenery, you know the backs aren't nothing to write home about. They're just they're just white, and they have like their own. Mo one of them looks like an Egyptian hieroglyph. It's this one. This one looks like the Egyptian hieroglyph. I don't even know if it's focusing or not, but uh, it's just. Stop this bad boy. See what it looks like docked. Or not docked, but you know what I'm saying. You know, complete Joy Cons on the Switch and everything. Make it look like an actual Switch. Like, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. 
Um, and at the end of the video, we are going to test out a little bit of gameplay with Breath of the Wild. Um, little manual thingy. Because why not? And yeah, you know, this is just uh, a nice looking cardboard. Nice looking cardboard. Um, so I watched this video today about it's a, an Australia, an Australia thing in Australia about box battle armor. How some dudes created a box battle armor thing. That's pretty dope. Uh, so that kind of reminds me of that where they use kind of like recyclable stuff. HD on my cord. Pretty standard. Pretty standard. Nothing exciting there. What is this? Uh, power cable. Pretty standard. Pretty standard. At least it comes with a power cable. You know? Considering the uh, new Nintendo 3DSs did not come with a 3DS charger. <laughs> they just expected you to already have one. I remember when I bought my Galaxy one and the guy literally specifically asked me he's like you have a switch charger right i just want to let you know because this doesn't come with one and i'm like yeah yeah i do also this was something that was, i was not like i knew it was obviously momo what are you doing girl you don't need to be playing with your box no silly girl momo stop stop trying to play with it Oh my god, so they're just, uh, they're just white. Oh my god, Momo, stop playing with the freaking thing. So this one's just white, right? And it's got, like, the gold string, which is nice. Momo's playing with it, by the way. Would you stop? Stop playing. <laughs> okay, and this one's also just, just plain white. Oh my god, Momo, I need to get you a swing toy. I don't know what, oh, she's playing. Now she's playing with my hoodie string Jesus Christ my cat is insane and again I like the I like the gold thread right I like the thread wow this cat is ridiculous I actually really like that I don't even know why I just do okay Momo what are you doing okay right I don't know how well you can see her you know I can't even see, but yeah, she's just playing with the string. Really? Oh my god. You're a little demon. Right? You're a little demon. Just playing with the string, aren't ya? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You're so ridiculous. Oh, jeez. Jesus. Jesus. <sighs> Now you know what I'm dealing with, guys. Look at those little crack eyes. Look at that little crackhead. And, oh, oh my god, Momo. <laughs> Holy crap, girl. She's so ridiculous. She's so ridiculous. She is so ridiculous. Hey, that right, Momo? Yeah. Yeah, you're such a good girl. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Yeah. Now y'all know what I'm dealing with down here. She's just playing like a crazy cat, dude. Oh, wow. Alright. Mm -hmm. You little crackhead demon. What are you doing? Oh my god. Alright, enough of that. Uh, I, I would love to film that for like years and years and years. But uh, nothing. I will say, I was expecting this to have like, I don't know, I was expecting this to have like, uh, like maybe kind of like that right there. But yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, it's fine. It's just... A plain Jane Joy-Con controller, which, like I said, is fine. Oh, and here we are. Here we are, the big bad boy himself. The... Okay. Kind of a... Oh, sweet mammoth. 
Jamma. All right, the back's, you know, nothing to write home about. It's got the little gold thing in the corner right there, you know. Well, actually, both corners. You know, sleek, white. And then the front is where the real magic is at. Like, that is so good. Like, that is so gorgeous. That is amazing. Right? Super good. Holy crap. almost finally calmed down like that is honestly astonishingly gorgeous and it's even got like the the symbols for den lanairu in them a little head symbol right there the zonai stuff the swirls like it all it's just gorgeous and of course Obviously, the system itself docked in the dock. It's so gorgeous. Such a beautiful system. Honestly, uh, for a first ever special edition for me, like, because, like I said, I've never bought a special edition console ever before in my life. The only time I came close was the Spider Man one for. You know, the Marvel Spider-Man, the PlayStation with the red, the beautiful red system with the Spider-Man symbol on it. So gorgeous. My Bo has it, and I'm super jealous that he has that, and it's so amazing. And I was so close. So close to pulling the trigger, but I just didn't. Now, uh, now that we've got the system out and about doing the Lord's work, because uh, it is. That is uh, the system unboxed, and honestly, it is gorgeous. Uh, my other system, my just plain Jane Switch, that I bought in October of 2010. This is the this is my first Switch OLED, obviously. So this is technically my second Nintendo Switch. Obviously, my first one is a normal one, and this is an OLED one. So this is like just a slightly better modified version of the Switch with better battery life, better screen. Um, I don't think it does anything graphically. I'm pretty sure this tells you what it comes with in a different language, which is... Uh, yeah, that's all that does. But yeah, I'm pretty sure what the Switch OLED does different is that it's got a better battery life than the normal Switch, which is obvious. The normal Switch doesn't have bad battery life. But I wouldn't say it's great. Um, and then the Switch uh, screen is part of the reason, the OLED screen is part of the reason why it's supposed to have better battery life, and it's supposed to make things look a little bit better, but not like too amazingly better. Like a little noticeable now, but nothing too tremendous. So, uh, yeah, now we're gonna, I guess, maybe try and cut to some gameplay using this system. Maybe using The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, because Tears of the Kingdom doesn't come out until another two weeks. How am I ever gonna wait that long? Alright, so we've done the, uh, the unboxing portion. Of the Nintendo Switch, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED Edition. I am using the... Obviously, it's docked on the TV. And I've got the custom, you know, Joy-Cons and, like, the little controller grip thing. This is something I did earlier today, because, you know, I found it. Obviously, I'm Odd Phil, you know. Come to online, you know, something new they added, really. And I like it, because, like, it, your stuff is attached to your profile. Like, all the games I've bought on the other Switch, they're not tied to that Switch. They're tied to my Nintendo account, which is pretty cool. Um, Splatoon plus Zelda Splatfest? I mean, that sounds cool, but, uh... Oh, and that's kind of cool. The Triforce. 
the green and the the courage, the blue and the wisdom, the red and the power. That's that's actually really neat. Oh, what was it? It was a uh... Oh, wow. Yeah. So what do they even have in Game Boy right now? Alone in the Dark? Interesting. Wario Land. Game & Watch. It was 2001. Okay. Link's Awakening DX for the Game Boy Color. Kirby's Dream Land. Kirby, oh, Kirby's Dream Land 2. My bad. Super Mario Land. Metroid 2. Burger Time Deluxe. Gargoyles Quest. Tetris. Just... Random. Oh, that's when the game book came out. Doi. Obviously, we know the 64 games. Super Puyo Puyo 2? Breath of Fire 2? Yeah, I haven't looked at this updated stuff in a bit. Kirby Superstar. Meta Knight's Revenge. Kirby Dream Man 3. Set difficult, easy to easy breezy. Okay. Earthworm Gym, Super Mario World 2, Panel de Pon, Super Mario Pacross. Why are they so long? Is it because they were Japanese only and they never came to the West? Wild Guns, Earthbound, Kirby's Avalanche, Kirby's Dream Course, Dance Along with Kirby, Smash, Tennis, Donkey Kong Country, Demon's Crest, Stunt Race, Punch Out Champion Edition. Natsume Championship Wrestling, that seems interesting. Super Metroid, Samus Rand's Ultimate Arsenal, Joe and Mac 2, Lost in the Tropics. Never heard of that. Peacekeepers, Fighters Histories, Operation, Tough Enough, Doomsday Warrior, Poppin' Twin B, Super Mario All-Star, Star Fox, Brawl Brothers, Side Pocket, well, they've definitely added a lot of games to this. Super Mario Kart Fuel Dub. A Link to the Past. One of my favorite Zelda games. It's probably my favorite 2D Zelda game, if I'm going to be honest with you. A Link to the Past is. Star Fox 2, which was, you know, unreleased. Right? Pretty sure Star Fox 2 was the unreleased one. Could be wrong about that. No. Has there been anything added to this one? Paper Mario, Super Mario, Sin Punishment, Majora's Mask, Pokemon Puzzle League. Ah, oh, dude. Childhood right there. It's Pokemon Puzzle League. Mario Tennis, Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards, Pokemon Stadium, Mario Party, One Back Covert. Pokemon Snap is on here now, Mario Party, Ocarina of Time, F-Zero, Banjo, Yoshi, Goldeneye, Star Fox, Mario Kart, Wave Race, Super Mario, Pilot Wings. Okay, what about Game Boy Advanced? They've added the Minish Cap on here? Dude, I think I spent 40 bucks buying that damn cartridge. And they added it on here? Damn, dude. Where's the Oracles? Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. Super Mario Advanced 4. Super Mario Bros. 3. Metroid Fusion. That's a lot of people's favorites right there. Mario Kart Super Circuit. God dang it. Bruh. Kuru, Kuru, Kuren. Kiru, Kiru, Kiru Rin. That's so weird. But you know, Goaded, Minish Cap, a Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. I know that's a big one. Metroid Fusion's a big one. Obviously, everybody loves the Mario Karts. But you know, uh, I'm honestly a little surprised about how interested I am in Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare. I'm going to be honest with you. Just out of curiosity.
Okay. Does this work? Because here's the thing. This is the, this is this is part of the test, right? The Switch OLED test, I should say. Right. <clears throat> this is going in the Switch OLED test. My my original plan was to uh, do the Great Plateau section. All right, that was my original plan. Was to do the Great Plateau. I mean, it better be played. Like, I get it. I bought the game in 2017 when it came out, right? Granted, not the month, but... What was that? April, May, June, July. Seven months. <clears throat> Seven months after it came out. Ooh, dude. Just the... Right? Just the... Just this. The start menu is so good. I love it, dude. That is so good. Oh, the the transitions, the fades. The way it comes in and goes, at, like the wispiness about it. I get so good. Like that fade out. Right? It, like, you know, then it fades in with just, like, the character art and only the character art with kind of, like, the blase background. Which is interesting because that's kind of, like, the background that's on the back of the Switch. Right? The Special Edition Switch. And then it fades into, like, the full landscape picture. Which I like. I like that. I'm pretty sure that's the European cover art, if I remember correctly. I don't know if I'm right about that, but, you know, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, and another character art with the horse and all that good stuff. <clears throat> oh, that one's so good. I love that picture. That picture is so good. It's goaded. I love the, like, the art style. All right, I've got zero left. I ain't got no more orbs. Why don't I have any more orbs? Pretty simple. I've done all 120 shrines. I've got his. I got max hearts. I got all the shrines. I've got everything. Boom. Why are you here? That's just rude. I slept there, my man. Now he's just stealing my thunder. What does that do? Oh, no. Give it. What do you mean? Descending beware of terrors? What is it? What is this? What is this? Dude, I'm rich. 12,000 rupees? Ooh. Also, does that 50 indicate like I've only gotten 50 or I have 50? I have to talk to Hestu about that one. But, you know, we, we were already there. We just kind of did not talk to him. Oh, that's right. No, I don't. Take me out of here. Really? Well, that doesn't that make me feel a little scared and a little nervous? Really? I come here and you treat me with a thunderstorm? Because that explains the shaking back down there. 
But hey, this is, you know, <laughs> this is the scene where Link wakes up in the beginning and they do the cool sweeping shot. But now it just looks like death. That is an awful boating one. Jesus Christ. Really? I come here. I try to reminisce. With my boy Link. Wearing my green tunic. And you're gonna treat me with a stupid thunderstorm. Isn't that fun? Oh. Isn't that awkward? Nobody cares about you, dude. Nobody cares. Is there a reason to pray anymore? Link, it appears you have sufficient power. You should not sink to increase this any further. Go bring peace to Hyrule. Wow. Way to tell me not to be arrogant. Jeez, woman. Could have done that a little nicer, I guess. Probably. Like... I'm just now kind of like wanting to like replay this game. That's only because Tears of the Kingdom's coming out. But it's like, what am I actually gonna do? Realistically, not replay the game. Jesus. The hell was that? Why did that make such a loud noise? Why did that scare me? Why did that v v just make me jump? So badly. Hold up. Wait a just... Wait a... Wait a fucking moment. Does this area look familiar? Guys. Because this looks super familiar to me. In fact... This area... <laughs> looks exactly like a smaller version of the area you meet Princess Zelda in Ocarina of Time. I think that's what this area is supposed to be kind of like referencing. No homage to. Because it's a little courtyard. Obviously you got the windows lined up. But you've got this right here. This just reminds me of like when you sneak through the courtyard and all that in Ocarina of Time and you make your way through the castle. And obviously this isn't the castle. This is in front of the Temple of Time. Which now that I think about it is kind of right next to the castle. But it ain't this close. Obviously. But uh. But yeah. And then you come up here and you talk to Zelda and you look through the thing and you see Ganondorf like <laughs> Right, and you could technically like look through the windows. I think you shoot a window and a rupee comes out of one and you shoot another one. Or you could shoot another one and like a bomb comes out or something like that. I'm so glad you don't come to life. Pretty sure only one comes to life and he's like to the right of the temple of time because he's like guarding a shrine he's not technically technically he's not guarding a shrine but he's close to one. Oh, it's a little it's a little camp what's up guys ow yeah take that yeah, you. I see you. Can you die up here? Sweet. What's up, man? Yeah, you pick facing. That's for sure. Stop. What is it? Oh, well, that wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> I, we walked into the pathway anyway, dude. Oh, 
Oh, my real bra sore broke. That sucks. That sucks. You know what won't break on me? That. That won't break on me. So apparently I never did this. Cause I don't think chests reappear during a blood moon. Like I don't, like yeah, you kill someone, but I don't. I don't want that anyway. I don't. I don't think chests reappear or respawn on blood moons. I think they stay opened no matter what. Oh, ain't that convenient? We just. Broke one and here you are just giving us one. About time, I haven't I haven't ridden this thing a lot. Alright boys. We can jump. That's how we do this here. It's a lot of bats. Bats ain't no problem to me. Cause I got my hair back. Yeah, this actually controls pretty nice. Bro, just doing a wheelie? Like, are you kidding me? You can just do a wheelie with this man? Man, Link ain't playing around. He really out here training for Mario Kart. Dude can drift as well? Jeez. Okay, that was my bad. That was my bad. But this boy can drift. Like you just tap me a little bit. Boom. Boom. Uh. Sorry to desecrate your, uh. Your little family thing here, but, uh. Oh. Where'd it go? I turned my back for one second and my bot goes. Get back here. I don't want to fight that skeleton family. That's a little rude. I was kind of hoping I'd run into long on range by now. Like the decrepit ruins of it? I missed. Oh, shit! Wait, isn't this it right here? <laughs> it is. Yeah, we found it. Unfortunately, there was a... Oh, my God. Let's just... Go straight this way. He can't hit us. Oh, there's a guardian over there too. Why? Why? Why does this game hate me? Oh, that's a Kinox. Just running away from guardians now, aren't I? If I was smart, I'd actually stay and try and, you know, do the thingy, but I think I've sucked at this entire time. Wow. This has gone on for far too long. Just for a little... BAM! Okay, yep, there we go. Okay! Damn! Talk about a wipeout. Whew. All right. That was exciting. That was exhilarating. Um. Well, yeah. So that was uh, the unboxing plus a little gameplay. You know, just to play on it a little bit. You know, this is the first time I've played a game on it. I figured it's a Tears of the Kingdom Switch. So I, it might as well be Breath of the Wild that I play first.
and you know learned how to do the download thing so that was great uh but yeah that's gonna be it for this episode hope you all have a great day plus uh you know hope you enjoyed me screwing around and ta-ta for now